So today I'll be showing you the Freewell ND filters. Let's bring that in a little bit closer so you can see what that is. Now this is called the all day six pack and you get ND4, ND8, ND16, ND32, 64 and 1000. Now I'll be probably used where I'm in Spain, the light is obviously very bright. It's not bright enough, I don't think, for a paralyzer. But don't forget, guys, what is an ND filter? It's like wearing my sunglasses. It just stops the light coming in so much. And that, that's why ND filters are used. Now, if you watch my videos over the years, I don't really use ND filters. So if you want to watch uh, somebody that's going to give you the understandings, the mathematics, that ain't going to happen with me, unfortunately. But what I have found out with the ND filters is a simpler way, and it's all to do with the EV. I'll show you that later on. What I thought I'd do now is I'm going to send the drone out without the filter on, uh, and we're virtually going to go straight out. The sun is just a, it's behind me. So when I bring the drone back in, we'll see what the light's like on that. And then I will stick on an ND, probably going to start off with an ND64. I, I think it's bright enough for an ND64, and we just see how that copes and see if you can see the difference if you think it's worth getting an ND filter. And then I will then explain a little bit more how I got to that setting on the ND64. <laughs> so, should we get on with it? As always, guys, when you're going to set your drone off, check your weather app. Um, it's not too bad at the moment. There are, there are gusts about. Uh, the other thing is, obviously, make sure the drone's all prepared. You fully charge the battery, your controller. Um, yeah, all the usual things that you would check. And obviously, another thing is, I'm, I'm on the beach here. There's nobody around with me, so I'm not going to be bothering anybody. And that's another thing. You don't want to end up bothering people. So, should we get on with the first example? <laughs> and that is, I'll be flying out the drone with no filter on at all. So, the drone's already set up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a hand takeoff. Now, the home point's already been set, guys. So, always remember that. Don't let your drone go off without setting the home point. So, we're going to get the drone off the ground first. Or off my hand, I should say. And that's this holding the, the two fingers. So I'm just going to put the screen record on. Okay. So that that's the the hand takeoff. So what I'm going to do now? I'm going to go straight over to. Um, we're going to go straight out. before the seagulls get me. <laughs> so we've got a couple of seagulls about. Um, as long as you don't annoy them, they're, they're, they're pretty safe, he says. Well, and as I said before, because the sun is that direction, I'm going to turn the drone around and bring it back to us. And then what I'll do then is I'll put on the ND64 and we'll see what difference there is at the moment. I mean, to me, it's looking pretty good. Thank you. 
So I'm going to turn off the drone and controller and we're going to put on the ND filter. Now I've shown you how to put on the ND filter. They're pretty simple. So I'll set up the drone. I'll put the ND filter on now, which is the ND64. I've shown you how to put on the filter. It's pretty easy to do. And what I've done, the drone's already to take off now. And at the moment it's on auto and the picture looks pretty good. But if I change it, and what I have also done, I've dropped them the frame rate to 25 frames per second. That's what they all seem to say. I don't know why. So I put it onto pro. Now, what I found guys is if you can keep that EV set in there to virtually zero, zero, then from what I can make out, that's good enough. Some people might say that's wrong. This is why, in a sense, to me, it's more of an experiment. People say it should be this, should be that. But what I found, if I find, as long as I get that EV at the bottom there, and that's by moving the shutter, um, then, and I got it onto one point, no, one stroke, 100. So we're gonna give it a go, because at, at the moment I'm in the shade here, so I'm gonna get the drone off the ground, off my hand, Now, the, for some reason, the wind's picked up, but what I'm gonna do is, what I did before, and the drone out a bit, just uh, bring it up a bit more. Put on the camera with the video footage. Gonna send it out. Gonna bring it up a bit. Just to bring out a little bit more, what I'm going to do now, because I didn't do it in the other shot, was to drop the camera down. And I'll just bring up the camera a minute, just to give you an idea whereabouts I am. Now to me, because I've got my sunglasses on obviously, it looks a little bit dark, but that should be all right. So hopefully that's cut out the glare a bit. Now looking at this, I think I could get away with using a ND16 myself. I think the 64 is a little bit too dark. So we'll try the, uh, the 16. Let's bring the drone back in. So we're gonna change, I'm gonna change the filter to a, a 16. I think a 64 may be a little bit too dark. So we're gonna give that a go. I've put on the ND16 filter this time. Now, at the moment on my screen, I'll just record the screen for you. Okay. So what I've done now, I think, changed over the filter to an ND16. I think the, the 64 was a little bit too bright. And this is why it's, I think to myself personally, it's all about experimenting on the day. Even though I think it's quite bright and I've got my sunglasses on, um, I think the 16 is probably good enough. Now at the moment on the screen, I've got it on auto. And if I change the screen over, 
it's slightly brighter. Now what you want to do is change that EV. Um, let's go to... So, now I've got a spot on the, on the EV which is one stroke 200, whereas the other one it was one stroke 100. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna send the drone up Okay, a little bit of wind today. So we're going to get the drone up. I'm going to put on the record. Send the drone out. Bring it up a little bit more. And we're just going to send it out towards that, that boat that's out there. Or, uh, catamaran, I think that's what they call it. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to drop the camera down and we're just going to see the sea. <laughs> okay, well, the, the main reason, another reason why you're, I'm using an ND fill is, is to cut that glare out that you see reflecting off the, off the sea there. I'm just going to bring the drone down a little bit. Um, so you can see on about yeah. obviously keeping an eye on the height. <laughs> so let's bring up, let's bring the drone back. I think personally that's a that's a good uh, a good filter for this this type of day. Okay, so we turn the drone round. Get the bearings. We've got obviously got people there. Uh, we'll bring it back in. So I come out this evening, it's still lovely and bright. You can't believe it's just gone five o'clock here in Spain. The temperatures have been about 36 today, but the wind's picked up a bit. But I thought what I, true, what I will try out, I've got the all day filter from Freewell. I've got the 1000 ND. We're gonna see if it's gonna cope with this brightness. Maybe it's too dark, I don't know. So we'll give it a go. I've got the drone ready. Okay, so what I've done, I've got on the screen record. You can see I've got it on auto at the moment. I'm going to do the hand takeoff. Okay, so we've got the hand takeoff. It's pretty dark. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put it on, just take it out a little bit more. It's obviously got the... Okay. I'm going to change it to Pro. Obviously, you can see it's blacked out completely. I'm going to change the EV setting on this. So at the moment, it's uh, minus three. Still minus three. So we go the other way. Got to go the other way. Okay, still, still too dark. Okay, 
Well. It's trout on 200. No. Let's try it again. 400. You can start to see the, the light a bit. 800. You could try it on 1600. Okay, one of the things I forgot to check. Oh no, 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 I'm alright. Let's try it on 32. 32. Didn't look right. Let's bring that down a little bit. I don't know, 32 looks okay. No. Okay, 1600 ISO. Let's give this a go, put on the video. We'll send it up. We'll send it out. Now the sun is behind me now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send it out a bit. Send it out a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to turn it around so it's facing the sun. Should be about it. Now I'm going to bring up the gimbal. Keep doing that. There it is. No, go the other way. No, it's a bit more. There it is. Okay. Let's bring that gimbal down. Okay, what I'm going to do now is drop the camera down. And we'll see if we can see what the sea is like. Now that's supposed to obviously shut out the glare. I'm going to bring the drone back to me. That's it. Okay, off we bring it back. So, it's up to you now to decide, do you think, does it make much difference? Um, obviously being on auto obviously I, you can't really see um, on the screen about the glareness and that until you get behind the computer screen but to be honest I didn't see a lot of difference but that that might be you know you might you may see it differently I and mean, a, lot, a lot of people like using the ND filters for motion blur um, they like filming in 4k 25 frames per second cine like i don't do any of that guys i'm just a 1080 60 frames and and for demonstration pur purposes i actually dropped down to 25 frames the rain the main reason why i keep the 60 frames is i can in edit i can either slow it down or speed it up i'm not too sure about 20 frames i think you can't really do a lot of it but apparently a lot of people swear behind it and the other reason why I don't use 4K is because, to me, it takes up so much storage. And a lot of people, and I'm only showing it on YouTube and sometimes Facebook, they dumb it down anyway. I just don't see the point of it. People say, well, you can, you can zoom in on edit. Well, it's got a zoom facility on the drone anyway. So anyway, <laughs> as always, hope you found it useful. I also most appreciate any comments. Maybe you can give me a, a better clue. What I will do, I will put up um, a video and check out his video because I've, to be honest, all the videos that I've seen on ND filters, uh, this guy, I thought he really described it really well. The understanding of what ND filters are, you know, combining it with your glasses and, and the filters. So, yeah, please check out that video. Um, as always, guys, fly safe. Hope you enjoy these videos. Hopefully next time I come out, I'll try out the Freewell ND Paralyzer, which these, these are paralyzed. I said that wrong, and I? But I don't care uh, in the next video. So stay safe, and I'll catch you next time, guys. Mm -hmm.